I call... Oh, um, sorry, Mr Chair. M call Mark Mitchell. Mr Chair, I'm very happy too to take a call on part one of the Christian Church's New Zealand Property Trust Board Empowering Bill. Um, and Mr Speaker, I'm disappointed. I'd like to see, um, I would expect the Chair of, the, of our committee um, to take a call and speak about this because I noticed that um, when the member in the chair was standing and um, making an introduction on the bill is there was some strong interjection. Um, there appeared to be a lot of emotion. Um, it appears to be that she's, she's upset about something and I, I, would, I would actually encourage her to stand up and take a call. Um, I, I think that's important. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the member in the chair. Um, I think it's very appropriate that he is in the chair covering for the Honourable Nick Smith. I want to acknowledge the Honourable Nick Smith because um, he brought this bill to the House in support of his constituents. And of course it has a far reaching effect because we have churches from the further, farther north uh, to the further south, including the members' own electorate, that are affected by this bill. So it's a very good one. Um, I also want to acknowledge the, um, the member in the chair because uh, he's got personal experience of actually having run his own um, uh, church and uh, ministry inside uh, West Auckland, both West and, and South Auckland. So, so, he, so he, he's, got a, he's got real life experience of actually the work that these churches do, the important work that these churches do uh, in their communities. Thank you, Mr Chair. If you bear with me, I'll, I'll come back to part yes. one. You're right. Um, I, just, I just wanted to very quickly, I was, I, was talking about, um, I was talking about the effect that this bill has um, from the far north, and I've, sp I've said in earlier speeches and referred to the Morangi Bay Community Church. Um, the reason why this one is special for me is because um, I was born and raised in Morangi Bay. And, um, and, and I have personal knowledge of the church and I have personal knowledge of the work that they do in their community. And actually, to have a bill like this, that is, a, and, and my colleague um, Brett Hudson made a very good point, to, to be able to enact legislation like this will allow them to be able to manage their assets much better is actually very, very important. To allow them to be able to actually um, uh, deliver the projects, the important projects that they sponsor and that they work on uh, in our communities. And actually, it'll make a real difference. And actually, being able to manage those assets properly, properly is very, very important. And uh, he referred to the mixed ownership model. That's actually a really good example, where we were able to, um, this government was able to convert um, assets that we felt that we didn't no, need to have. No, um, no, no, order, uh, no. Mr Chair? Three and four. Oh, you're right, you're right. Um, so, 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 so if we come back to part, if we come back to part one, um, Mr Chair, I, the, the the interpretation in this Act um, is the context that the new board means the Christian Church's New Zealand Property Trust Board, as I've said. Um, that was incorporated as a board under Part 2 of the Charitable Trust Act in 1957. Uh, that was the Charitable Trust Act of 1957. Um, that, that's, that's where it was originally incorporated. Um, the old, the old board means the Associated Churches of Christ Church Extension and Property Trust Board. And the property means every type of property and includes every type of estate and interest in property and money. And that's very, money. That, that's cash money. And that's actually very important because, um, and, and what I was alluding to and what I was trying to get to, Mr. Chair, is the, is the point that uh, Mr. Hudson made around the use of um, assets. And that is the fact that sometimes actually it's prudent to liquidate assets that aren't maybe returning, um, the, 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 or they're not achieving the return that the church may want. And it might be better to actually liquidate them and realise that in cash and be able to manage the asset um, as cash instead. So that's a very, very poor um, uh, part of uh, part one in the preliminary uh, provisions. It also includes all land that is registered in the name of the old board under the Land Transfer Act. Um, yeah, and that's actually under the Land Transfer Act 1952, Mr Bishop. Um, in, in, in yeah, in case you're wondering. Um, the, that's right, that's right. We are uh, reforming that act. Very, very good point. We're going to modernise the, um, the Land Transfer Act 1952. The purpose. So the purpose of this act is to transfer all of the existing property, interest, powers and obligations <coughs> of the old board to the new board. And 
dissolve the old board and remove it from the register of charitable trust boards under the Charitable Trusts Act 1957.